birdie at 15. Lucas Herbert. Top 10 here last time round, last year. Something about this golf course stats up nicely, but that was in the jaws and short. Slap on the wrist. Lucas Herbert. Up the tier. And very, very good putt from where he was. There's a lot of work on heart rate control. Lucas Herbert in his warm up tries to keep it under 150 beats per minute during his range session. It might just be creeping up now that he's launching his way up the leaderboard inside the top five. Short range birdie putt for Lucas Herbert. And he joins the pack at eight under par. Three under for his round today. Still anyone's game. It's such a difficult decision because I'm sure he can make it. He wouldn't be anywhere having a go at it without being able to make it. But you're right, it's a big decision, isn't it? You know, if you lay up, you can yes. still make four. If he slices out to the right, the carry is so much longer to get over the water. This is brave. Did he get all of it? And it's going right. It's in the air for a long time. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's made it. Isn't that on the smallest bit of green you could possibly find? It's about seven paces deep. Lucas. Wow. Lucas Herbert, only one behind the 24 year old. Lucas Herbert, an eagle chance to get to 10 under, be leader in the clubhouse. This is a mighty big ask. Oh, nice pace on it. Oh, that's absolutely magnificent. Right on line two. What a part. Only one other Aussie has won the Omega Dubai Desert Classic, Richard Green, way back in 1997. Two halves of 34, round in 68, nine under par. Tied for the lead in the clubhouse. Wouldn't it be appropriate if we at last got another Aussie win on Australia Day? Pretty long, Herbert. Yes, immensely long. Not too many out here longer than him. And will it hang on? It does. Almost needs to just float one if you can. Keep it on the fairway. Zaydno can get it out there. He's not quite in the same league. Distance wise and really must put it on the fairway. It was a wicked line, wasn't it? Okay, now over to you, Mr. Herbert. I'd be surprised if Lucas doesn't ever go. He's, he's got that gunslinger's walk. <laughs> he says, yeah. Huge shot here for Lucas Herbert. Oh my god. That may be the worst shot I've ever hit in my life. Oh, Behind. that's not a good omen. Behind. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can only feel for him. Oh, he likes it. Inevitable after what we saw earlier. It's still not an easy two putt. He's ironed up and down. What a golf shot! What a golf shot! Brilliant! That's as good as the last one was bad. Well done, Lucas Herbert. Mm. 
and look at the amount of brake on this. Has he got the speed right? He needs to settle down. Oh my goodness, that has sailed on by. And after that brilliant approach, the unlikeliest of par fives for Lucas Herbert. Well done, both. We're back to the tee. We'll do it all over again. Oh, great drive, Lucas. Oh, he's absolutely thumped that. Oh, look at the hang time. Where's this going? Oh, -ho! oh my goodness. And he brought the water into play on the sit. right. Stay. Oh, sit. Don't you? It won't make Don't the water turn. Relax. Silly. No, that is. Well, that's perfection now. His opponent here right under pressure. He has got to hit a, a bees or two and he must find the fairway. Everybody loving it. Softly. I didn't even see it. I, it kind of disappeared. <laughs> yeah, it's a day when Australians break the habit of a lifetime and have a beer. So, this for the most dramatic of victories. And the Omega Dubai Desert Classic. This for a winning eagle for Lucas Herbert. Ooh, there's a little bit left in it. He's done the right thing though, Doogie. You know, the, the odds are against the Zayden Hood holding it from that distance, let's be honest. So you take your fall and then K Sarah Sarah, see what he does. But this for the birdie, for Christian Bezaydenot to keep this playoff alive. And his opponent's certainly not dead. Oh, oh that looked so good for so long. Lucas Herbert then, for the birdie and the win and an Australian wins on Australia Day here in Dubai what a fantastic playoff Lucas Herbert hitting that awful shot and then the most brilliant shot at the first playoff hole and then goes out and wins it on the second Lucas Herbert's first win on the European Tour in the Omega Dubai Desert Classic your first win is always memorable, but to do it here in this tournament is even more special. Congratulations to Lucas Herbert. Let's hear from our new champion and the first Aussie winner for over 20 years. Lucas, many, many congratulations. Your first win as a professional has come at one of the most iconic tournaments on the European Tour. You've come close before. What does this win mean to win to you? The last 10 minutes feel like I've just been dreaming. That's so, it's so weird. Um, mate, that's awesome. That's, that's just the best thing ever. It is so good. I've, we've got a bottle of scotch at home to celebrate back in Australia, so I can't wait to get into that with the boys. Australia Day as well. What a day to win on. Um, the playoff so dramatic. You hit it in the water. You hit an incredible pitch shot to keep it going, and then obviously make that quality four there. I know you've been working really hard on your mental side and how to deal with pressure. Tell us about that and what the key to doing that today was. Um, yeah, look, 
last week I was probably like 20th going into the weekend and probably like throughout the 10th time in the last 12 months seemed to just back it out and finish at the back of the field and we got really frustrated so we sort of uh, I put in some really good tactics this week with my mental coach Jamie Glazier um, just you know trying to be really positive writing down a lot of positive stuff and like it's so cliche but it works so much like I felt so confident um, out there and just felt like good golf was going to come and um, you know I spoke to him just before the playoff and we sort of we talked about the fact that there was I hit some really poor shots out there today obviously the second shot the first playoff hole probably not one of my best but um, you know if, if you go back and watch any sort of winners like final nine holes final round playoff holes like it's never a perfect sort of scenario everyone always hits bad shots in there and you know everyone will probably forget about that now that I've just gotten that up and down and then you know won the tournament exempt now until the end of 2022 top 80 in the world rankings with this to build on what do you think you're capable of um hangover tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> oh that's there's too much to think about right now um i just i mean i know everyone back home is gonna be still up so obviously there's some pretty average stuff happening in australia right now with the fires and cam smith sort of said it a couple of weeks ago when he won and i'd you know i'd love to say the same thing like with everyone, everyone around the world's like behind us, and you know, hopefully we can keep fighting harder than what I did on that first playoff hole. That's you know, that's nothing compared to the firefighters and, and volunteers that are putting out the fires. So um, yeah, send all my love back home. Uh, um, hope everyone's well, and yeah, thanks for the support. Go enjoy the celebrations. Great playing, well done. Don't worry, I will. Well said, Lucas Herbert, our yes. champion. What a tournament, what a golf course, yes. and what a week. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.